Hey guys, we are back. I'm not doing a new introduction. Uh, just we're a continuation of the last video where we attached his snout. Between takes here, I went ahead and stuffed his body because I'm to that point. And we are going to start on round 47. I need to... Huh. Must be about 11 o'clock. My train's going through, guys. little useless tidbit about me I absolutely love trains um, one of my favorite things to do next to riding them is watching them so when we got a chance to buy this house near the train where I could see it go through and it goes through on, on you know once twice a day kind of thing I actually was really excited about that and I know a lot of people aren't because they don't like the noise but I love the, love to see them so let's go here oh usual disclaimers not my pattern I'm not a professional the list goes on and on and I may have to lift this camera some more because this guy's head is starting to stick up so high you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing so I'm going to pause you for a second and try that. Okay, I have the camera way the heck up there, but I think I can zoom us in a little bit. So this is how he's looking so far. And we are on round... 47, which is a decrease round, part of the reason I went ahead and stuffed. So it's pretty straightforward, just follow your numbers on your pattern. Whoops. If you hear noise in the background, my husband's on a Zoom meeting and have goodness, they are a loud crowd. Okay, so that was my 15. Now I'm going to decrease. I always find as I'm getting close to the top or bottom of these and it has to be stuffed as I'm stitching, I find it a little more awkward to flip the pieces around. So that's my decrease. Single crochet in the next one, then decrease. Pull my pattern closer. Single crochet in four. Decrease. Hmm, guys, it's shattered back over, but I'm afraid if I turn this bright light on behind you, it's going to blind you too. Single crochet in six. So Decrease. Single crochet in 
four and decrease. Make sure you pull that stitch kind of tight. Decrease, single crochet, M1. Decrease, single crochet in nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, we are on the right number, so we're going to just work to our marker. Okay, that's round 47. Round 48 is further decreasing. We're going to decrease down to 42 stitches. Okay, so that was my sixteen. I'm going to decrease. Single crochet in four, then decrease three times. So let's see. One, two, three, four. Decrease, that's one time. Decrease, that's two times. And then one, two, three, four. Decrease, that is our third time and then we should have 10 stitches left. Let's see. We do. So we will single crochet around to our marker. And that was round 48. Round 49 is further decreasing down to 37. So let's get started on it. You might want to keep your stuffing kind of 
or fiber fill, whatever you want to call it. I just grew up calling it stuffing. But anyway, you might want to keep it next to you because we're going to have to kind of stuff as we go, I think, as we decrease here. Four, then decrease. Single crochet in eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, decrease, single crochet, decrease, Decrease, single crochet, decrease, single crochet, in 10. Oh, we're dinging. I'll have to check it in a minute. fingers. 10. Decrease, single crochet, decrease. Okay. So, decrease, single crochet, decrease. You see it's starting to pull together so it's getting tighter to work with and we should have eight left. Yep, so crochet to your marker if you have eight left. Six. Seven. Eight. All right. Folks, we are on round 50, which is going to be joining these ears. I have not made this guy before, so I don't know how awkward this will be or won't be, but we are going to figure it out together. Okay. Single crochet in five. Oh, gosh. Sorry, guys. Let me pause this and see what that is. Sorry about that, some cyber whatever week sale thing popped up. Okay, now we are working on this. We're going to single crochet in five. Taking our ear, which I have lightly stuffed. That tail in there. Can you see this? I've lightly stuffed the ear and putting the tails inside. I think that's too much stuffing. Let's try this. There we go. Much better. Now, oh, there went my crochet hook. Okie dokie. Try again. So I've got this stuffed. It says with the top of the ear pointing toward the left side of the head. Now y'all know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go look at this picture and do you see this ear? According to the picture, the long side like this that doesn't have the curve, the long side is going toward the outside of the head so it would go like this now 
Fold the ear in half, matching free loops, working through all thicknesses. It says to decrease, wait just a minute. Whoa, I was getting ready to mess up guys. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Single crochet M5, let's start round 50 over. Operator error. Okay, I did my five. I'm doing my decrease and then my six. Oh, I was excited, I guess, to get that ear on. Five, six. Now that ear. I said the long side goes that way. So matching free loops I'm beginning chain with next single crochet head and work through all thicknesses. Okay, so there's my beginning chain. And I am you know I'm gonna pull this tail kind of out so that I can see what I'm doing. Can you see what I'm doing here? I'm working through two thicknesses on the um, ear. I'm pulling one stitch through. I'm going to the next stitch on the ear and the next stitch on the body and pulling through because it tells us to work a decrease which gives us three loops on our hook pull this I'm gonna actually stop and snug my stitches up a little or my loops up I'll wrap it and pull it through all three of them. Leave remaining loops on ear unworked. Single crochet and next 15 single crochets. Something doesn't feel right about that to me. Let me look at this again. I think, let's take this out. I'm going to pause the camera. I want to read something and make sure I'm not misinterpreting. That ear needs to go like this as I go up. Well, I guess I've got it right. That'll pull. Yeah, maybe I was right. Huh. Let's see. I'm going to go through my thicknesses here. Go through my thicknesses here. Go back and snug up my loops here because this decrease is a joining decrease and I want it tight. Alright. We're going to go with that. If we're wrong, Piglet's ears will be turned a little funny.
So decrease one time, leaving the remaining loops on the ear unworked. Single crochet in 15, and we're back to where we were. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, I almost had it off camera. Sorry about that. Fifteen. Now, let's grab our other ear, folding it in half. see which way this one goes. In theory, I guess it's gonna go this way. That one stands up that way. This one's gonna stand up. Oh gosh, guys. Guess this way. I'm assuming these are gonna go the opposite. doesn't sound right. Like that. And like that. Working through all thicknesses matching free loops of beginning chain and working through decrease. Oh. Top of ear pointing toward the left side. That is the left. Matching free loops of beginning chain. So guys, what I don't know, and this is kind of curious, is am I supposed to start here? Or here? Let's see. All right, we're going to try it this way if this does not work. is correct. Now I want this one coming up this way as well. All right, I'm going to assume because I want this one coming up. Can you see that? Because I want that one coming up that way, I'm going to assume that I'm going to do this this way. If we are wrong, I will apologize at the end and we will do better on our next one. Pull that tail out. 
Okay, we are working through both thicknesses on our chain on our ear. And then working through on the head as well. And we're actually doing that joining decrease. If I can get my hands to work here. That's the wrong stitch. Sorry guys, this is a little awkward to get on film, but and going through here I'm going to stop and tighten up my loops on my hook because it is the joining and I want that stitch decrease to be tight decrease now skip the rest of the stitches on your ear Leave remaining loops on your own work, single crochet in next five. So one, two, three, four, five. Now turn this way, and that was round 50. Single crochet in next five. Decrease. single crochet in four three four Now we are decreasing again. Which is awkward because we're kind of coming To pull that ear up so did you see what I did I actually came back to that stitch so that's two and I'm gonna catch the next chain on here and then that's my next stitch which was right there which was that decrease and that's three so that's joined and now we what we're doing here guys is we're actually pulling that ear up so that's done <clears throat> around 51 I decreased single crochet in next six Decrease, single crochet in seven, six, 
six, seven. <clears throat> okay, now we're back to where we're decreasing. So here's what I'm doing. We're stopping one stitch before that previous decrease on the previous round, going in it and pulling through one. No. Yes. I'm going in it and pulling through one. And then I'm going... Is that right? Yes, and then I'm going through the ear. Is that what I did on that side? I think it is, anyway. Sorry. Let's try this again. Okay, so we go to up to our ear. Pull that loop tight. Come in here and do our decrease, which is my tail is getting in the way there. Pull those stitches tight, decrease, then turn where you can see your work again. Single crochet in next four. One, two, three, four. Something is not working out right here. You know what? Let's go back to that other side and let me look at that. I apologize, folks, but I still I want to be as you know transparent as possible on this too. Okay, so let's assume that I am decreasing here. I would go here through here. and decrease. All right, that makes more sense. Okay, so we work to one stitch before our joining here, our decrease, and I'm going to do, go in that, I'm going to go through my next stitch on my ear, and then I'm going into the next stitch on this side of the decrease and I am pulling it together. I don't know if that's right, but that works out logically with my mind. And then I'm going to... I need 15 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yep, that works out. So I'm going to single crochet in six. We're going to do a decrease. I'm going to single crochet in seven. Okay, now this takes me back to just before my other ear. I'm going to do in through the body, go back into this other ear and catch the next set of loops, pull that through. Oh wait. Pull that through like that, there we go. 
and then the next stitch on this part of the body here oops I didn't catch it right sorry about that this is awkward as all get out so there's one loop catch one catch one go through pull it through so we have three and then that is our decrease and then we have four single crochets left to finish out the round I am going to definitely leave that pink tail out just in case I have to touch up anything around those joins. Three, four. All right. Whew, guys. Simplicity was not the name of the game when these patterns were designed, but they're cute. Now, so it was round 51, round 52, single crochet in two, decrease, single crochet in five, one, two, three, four, five, and now we are back to catching our stitches on this ear. One, and the tail is in my way. and then pulling it through all three don't you know guys I do believe well no that's right okay working through all thicknesses now we're going to single crochet on 14 on the head so one three four five six seven eight nine Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and now we're going to do our decrease, which means we're working through all of these thicknesses again. thing working through all the thicknesses is awkward oh I split my stitch let's try that again let me turn it this way I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing here it's very awkward because of all these pieces but I am going in the stitch going in the chain going in the next one there so that I pull it through and then 
I'm pulling it through. How many am I supposed to have left? Oh, I messed up. I pulled it through the wrong spot. There we go. So, through the ear, through here, through the ear, through the next stitch here so that we have our three and then work our decrease, flip over, we have three stitches left unworked here, which is what we wanted. One, two, and three. And guys, I'm going to stop and put just a tiny little bit more stuffing in this guy's head here. I don't have to do a lot, but I think he needs enough to keep my shaping going. Okay, that was round 52. Round 53, we are doing the same thing. It looks like we have two more joining rounds here. hoping you can see this guys I apologize this is he's gotten uh, so awkward to work here so seven one two three four five six Seven, and now we are going to go through the air, we're going to go th through the head and pull it. Then we are going through the ear. And through the head so that we have three and we're pulling them all together. And then we are coming around this side. And single crocheting. Guys, I think this is going to take as long as bigger portions of them. Three, four, five. through both thicknesses of the ear, which is quite awkward. There we go. Back into the next stitch on our head and pull it through all of that. And then we're working in the 
thickness of the ear and back through that next stitch and pulling it through all of that, tightening that up. Let's go back. I want to tighten that because that one was a little loose. So let's tighten my stitches. Tightening that. And then I have lost my marker, of course. Single crochet in the last two, so. Got it. Now, this should be our last joining round for these ears. Let me read it before we start. going to start out with the decrease single crochet in the next two decrease single crochet in the next single crochet matching the loops and working through all thicknesses, we're doing a single crochet. So I'm coming through here, coming through this stitch on my head, and doing a single crochet. And then I'm actually doing a decrease in the last stitches on this ear. So let me make sure I got the right one. Those stitches are tight back there. You're going to have to twist it where you can see them. Wait just a minute. I didn't go through both loops here. Okay, through both loops. That's the first part. Now through both loops for my last... Can you see that? My last loop on that ear. And through this one and that decrease and that attaches our ear on that side oh I don't want to cover my tail just in case I need to do any like I see a spot there I would like a little tighter Single crochet, decrease, single crochet in next four, and decrease twice. So let's see. One, two, three, four. Decrease, decrease, twice, oh wait, I messed up, that was four and then a decrease and then four and then a decrease, so there was four and a decrease and then one, two, three, four, and then a decrease. Mm, something's wrong there. Let me let me back up here. I've got something off. Okay, so let's see. One, two, three, four, decrease. One, two, three, four, decrease. Okay. So, four, five, 
five, six, I need twelve stitches. So that's right. One, two, three, four, decrease. One, two, three. Four, decrease, working through both thicknesses, here, come on fingers, on the ear, single crochet in the next stitch, then We're going to have two single crochets. We've got to do our decrease here. So let's see. And there's our last decrease. And look there, folks. Got to do two more single crochets. But, we have ears. Last two single crochets. And let me stick my marker back in there. Hmm. I lost my marker sitting here. No shock there. Alright. So, round 55 is just a single crochet in each one around. And then we're going to decrease on two more rounds. At this point, I'm actually stopping the videos. The eyes are very quick. You know what? Let me lay this guy aside. I'm going to show you real quick how to crochet one of the eyes. And then when I come back, I'm actually going to show you my finished piglet, which will have like all my embroidery and stuff on it. So let's see if I can get you down closer to what I'm doing here. Sorry about the movement. So for the eye, I'm using a smaller hook. Again, I like clover. I think it's clover brand. And this is a G. I'm using my brown worsted weight yarn. I'm going to leave a tail because I'm assuming these guys are sewn on. With a smaller size hook and pink. Which one is the pink? What are they calling the pink? So I need a chain three in my pink. I'm leaving long tails. I will work them in as needed. So chain three and I'm actually going to chain four for the finish off. And long tail. So this is what you've got. Your chain is what shows three chains. Using the smaller size hook and brown with a slip knot on the hook. Yarn over on the hook like that. Insert the hook in the first chain of the beginning chain. Yarn over. 
pull up a loop. So this is a raised double crochet. If you're not familiar with those, you may want to look them up. Or I will show you one more time what we're doing. We're starting with the slip stitch or the slip knot, pulling our yarn over our hook. We're going into this first thing. You've got to be careful and hold your yarn over your hook for this part so that we go through both loops here. Wrap it and pull it through. This gives me three loops, three brown loops on my hook. I'm going to wrap it, pull it through two, wrap it, pull it through two. That is like a raised double crochet. Da -da -da. Whoa, I'm wrong. Bag up. I'm going to pull it through the first two. Leave those two on. Shoot. All right, guys, let me start that over. I'm sorry. Wrap it. Go through your first chain. Wrap it. Pull through two. Wrapping it. You're going to wrap again. Go in your next chain, pull it through, wrap and pull through two. You have three loops at this point left on your hook. Wrap again, go through the next chain. I know this as a cluster stitch. I'm not sure what the official name for it is. Pull it through, wrap it again and pull it through two so that you have four loops on your needle or your hook. You're going to wrap it and pull it through all four. And this is the eye shape it makes. And then that eye is going to go right here on Piglet like this. So you're going to end it off. Leave a long tail for sewing. This is your eye shape. So we're going to do the other one together too because I didn't do a very concise job of explaining that. Leave a long tail. Chain three. One, two, three. Do one more chain holding that. Cut your other tail and pull that through so that you have three chains. Take your brown yarn, make your slip knot on your hook, wrap your yarn over it one time and hold that with your thumb just like this. Take your chain, go in the first chain, go in both sides of it, or both loops, pull one through so that you have three loops on your hook hook. Wrap your yarn and pull it through the first two. That leaves two loops on your hook. Wrap your hook, go through the next chain, wrap your hook again. You have four loops. Wrap it and pull it through. You've got three loops. Now wrap your hook, go through your final chain, Wrap your hook and pull it through. At this point, you have four loops left on your hook. Wrap it, pull it through, then do uh, what would be the equivalent of a chain, leaving your long tail for sewing. So that was not a raised double crochet. It's actually a cluster. And I apologize for that confusion on my part. Okay. That is it guys. When I come back, this guy will be all dolled up and gussied up. He needs stripes. He needs his eyebrows. He needs to be finished stuffing. And I've got three rounds left. So thanks for crocheting along with me. Please come back and see the finished product. Leave me any questions, concerns, etc. down below. And again, I apologize because I am not a professional at this. Just doing my best and learning together. So I'll be back in a little while.
Bye, guys.